Hello walkers and welcome to the U.S. National Whitewater Center in Charlotte, North Carolina. We're right outside anyway. Um, we're just going to take a quick walk around. It is a busy day to, here, day to day here in late July, I guess. It's about noon, 87 degrees Celsius, 87 degrees Fahrenheit. Let me look this up here. Uh, 31 degrees Celsius and 88 degrees Fahrenheit, about noon. It's a weekday and still pretty hopping here. And we're gonna check it out and, and talk a little bit about it. I don't know a ton, but I did walk around with a friend of mine today who uh, who has done, who uses it almost every day for kayaking. Uh, but as we'll see, there's a lot of other things to do here. And I'm gonna show you as many as I can while I'm here. So the first thing that you can see is climbing. So rock climbing, you get climbing walls um, with the auto belay system. Uh, there's mountain biking, there's hiking, of course. It's a big facility. Uh, and then, of course, the whitewater stuff, which we're going to see here in just a second, actually. Well, we'll go down this way. Um, my name is Henry. I'm going to... Real quick here. <laughs> my name is Henry. I'll be your proxy walker to go... To, your proxy walker today, your virtual travel guide and your co discoverer. Turn your back around. All right. So my friend was telling me that they, the amount of water they pump through this park is equal to an Olympic sized swimming pool every six seconds. So. We'll go take a look real quick at part of it, and then we'll uh, get to where you can hear me, maybe. There's a dog bowl. That's nice. It's uh, So these wires over the water is... Uh, because it's a U.S. national team and Olympic training center and, they can, and competition center, and they hang gates down from there for the kayakers. Uh, up at the visitor center where we, or the main center where we started, I'll point you back around there, other side of the rocks there. Um, they also have conference rooms you can rent and event centers. They have live music here uh, at times. And up here, I'll show you that in the winter, they have a, uh, an ice skating rink this area they turn into an ice skating rink. And I think they have some uh, mechanics to, or the, what do you call the, the machines, I guess, to keep the water frozen. It's not deep here, so I don't know exactly how deep it is, but, um, you know, they're not freezing 10 feet of water or anything. So when we get down here, I may stop talking because the music they're pumping out will possibly trigger a copyright issue and uh, I may just drop in some other music to make it less likely. When I came here this morning uh, all of this was empty. I mean there was a little bit of water down there but just like puddles and and then they, they turned on the pumps and away it goes. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to sit outside and... Apparently they, they do use UV treatment and then they dose it with chlorine every once in a while. So the water's clean. Um, I don't know if we'd wanna drink it, but you shouldn't get sick or anything from it. It's not like natural river water. We are on the west side of Charlotte, as it so happens. Off to the left is um, raft and kayak boat rental stuff and then here's where they put the boats in
You can see some of the boats in there. And here we're getting into the music, but you can see the pumps over there. You see a lesson in a uh, kayaking lesson here, people learning how to roll and exit the uh, exit the kayaks when it comes and you've got people that are doing little raft trips and I, I'll talk about that in just a little bit but you can also see a conveyor belt that brings them up from lower and reinserts them into the water the pool A first rapid down there. Yeah, Alright, so I'm just going to give you a few facts here uh, that I have found out. Again, my usual uh, focus on co discoverer rather than virtual travel guide. It's $75 an adult. $65 a um, kid for an all-day, all-access pass. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about oh, activities. Um, there's multiple routes down here. You got the outside and then the right side over there with different levels of difficulty, I guess. Um, you can do rafting or kayaking. They have camps. And then you can also pay for a la carte activities. You can see over here, a tower is a zip line tower. And apparently you zip line across the main lagoon and then you zip line back. And then there's some other ones as well around. There are, oops, sorry. There, there are adventure parks. So kind of what I used to call ropes courses. Uh, there's some obstacle course for kids, and you can even go down to the river, which I think is the Pigsaw or Pisgah River. But it is a magnificent facility. Apparently, they started the park with, and I find this number surprisingly low, but back in 2006, with I think $30 million, and then the money kind of dried up during the 2008 uh, crisis, and, and then they've since been able to, as it picked up, been able to raise more money, generate more income, and really build this place out. It's really cool. can see a bigger rapid across the way. People playing in the rapids. There we go. It's really fascinating to me as we walked around here earlier when it was empty to see um, the underwater structures, the thought they put into it um, in terms of both generating rapids but also uh, safety, right? So in a natural river there might be rocks that you could get sucked under or massive hydraulics that could suck you down but here there are rocks and it's definitely not without risk but relatively speaking it's it's pretty safe um, you know it's, it's probably like three feet deep here um, and I think so that's the flat water dock that leads down to the river. If we have time, we'll go down that. I'm going to spin around again. I know if you're on your treadmill, it's a little uh, disorienting to be spun around too quickly. So I try to remember not to do that. I want to thank our Patreon supporters today, uh, as I do every walk, because your support is um, is as much as it is financial, more, way more than it is financial. It's encouragement and um, 
motivational. It really, I value the fact that you guys value these walks, that these walks are um, of worth to you. Well, that's a big one. Here's that tower a little more closely. It's a big rapid. It's a big drop anyway. Little wave train. Um, I mentioned also, so they have zip lining. They have mountain biking. Uh, it's a big property, so they have lots of trails. Uh, I think my friends said 60 miles of trails, which is pretty amazing. Oh, there's another big one down there. Um, and access down to the river. What else do they have? They have restaurants. They have uh, snack bars. What else? Just a ton of stuff. and. You know, Charlotte is itself, and I've done a, I did a couple of walks two winters ago downtown. It's a big city, and it is growing and growing and growing incredibly quickly. So there's a lot of people, and it is busy here, for sure. Um, I see that here's a big rapid they're putting in, or I mean, they're they have put in. Oh, that's a good one. They're eddying out over there. Another wave train. Oh. And up here on the right, on the bank, they've got a guy with the throw rope for safety. Must be a known, known uh, wrist area. You've got the adventure course above us, where that's uh, the type of place where you, they, they, it's an ingenious little, uh, I get distracted a lot on this channel, sorry. You clip in and then you're able to go through the whole course without ever unclipping. Or if you do, then there's a two clip system where you clip the one, you unclip one, reclip it, and then unclip the second one and reclip that. I wanna show you this trail marker here, Jackrabbit, and then on the other side is Long Point Obstacle Challenge, which is kind of neat. And this is uh, for the smaller kids. You can see some guys back in there. I don't want to too close. Over across the way is one of the receiving points of the zip line. There come some people. Zipping in right over the water. That's awesome. That's an interesting system to break. That's awesome. She didn't have enough weight. Oh, she didn't quite make it. I've been there. Oh, there they go up the big side. Okay, so over there, they have something called, I guess it's the deep pool. Um, and you climb without ropes, and then when you fall, you fall into the water, which is kind of cool. Unless you're at the top, then it's a quite, a, quite a fall. You can get an idea now of the scale, maybe, of, um, this is kind of the big lagoon. I don't know what the actual name is that they call it but you can see a lot of the facilities from here and get them.
escape. Oh, and we can look across in a minute and we will see the uh, kind of the magic carpet kind of deal. The rafts going up there. Some folks on their, on their bikes riding the trails. You can also get an annual pass apparently. Rubbin's racing. I want to show you show you some of these zip liners because what looks like power lines up there is actually these zip lines which is super fun you can see the pump station over there people going up the escalator more adventure course back by those zip line stations Somebody went out of the raft up here. You know, like I said, it's not risk-free, but it is lowered, it's mitigated, I would say. That's a good skill to develop anyway, what to do when you get out of the boat. So we are going to go, we started over by those rocks, the rock climbing station over there. We're going to go on this side of the channel, out onto this island. Oh, here come some zip liners. Can't even see them on the screen. Kid got out of the water safely. Here's a stage. Let's walk around this way. That's a big shoot, you know. I mean, I would totally send my kid to a camp here. This place is awesome. You see the gray bollards next to the uh, channel here. Those are adjustable, so they have a, a, a uh, level area underneath there with PVC pipe tubes going down, and they can anchor those all across there in any con any uh, configuration they want to, which is kind of neat. So they can change the the contour of the river. You can see the drop pool or whatever it's called over there.
Here we go. Oh, Robin's racing. Robin turned around. Seeing a lot of smiles. So I'll give you another view of the main center, uh, restaurant, conference center, private event space. You can reserve bathrooms, locker room, that sort of thing. Over here we have a uh, snack bar kind of place. So, I don't know if you noticed, but we just saw this boat go by earlier down a different channel. So I, I believe, here we go, I believe um, you sign up, when you get the all day pass, you can sign up for uh, whatever you want. And when you sign up for a raft trip, it's he said it was four circuits over the course of an hour and a half or so. And then you can sign up again and do another one if you want. Um, or you can do it a la carte. You can see these gates too. They can push out to make the rip water faster, a little bit higher, a little bit deeper. And that's a pretty significant wave there. That's awesome. One of the things I was telling my friend is that I would one of the, one of the things I would love is to learn how to be a better whitewater rower um, because it's hard to get that kind of practice and that kind of education. You can kind of see the tubes under that water. Um, and uh, with it, it's hard to get that kind of practice in the wild, you know, without the risks are all there and you don't have any of the mitigation. Uh, Woohoo, he almost went out. Um, so, and I think this place would be amazing for that. I'm not sure if that really fits in with. Uh, the way they're running it, like I don't know, you know, I don't see anybody rowing. So, but still, and and the other thing, <laughs> I'm so fascinated by this. Sorry if I'm bouncing around a lot. The other thing I really am excited about this place, or I find fascinating, is right. You have sort of landscape architects all over the place. Lots of business for them. Urban architects specializing in parks, that sort of thing. I've never heard of a hydraulic architect, but that's pretty much what you need here. You need a lot of engineering and design that's very specialized to build this place. And I don't, I'm interested to do some research to find out how they built it and the process around that, but um, it must have been, it turned out really, really well. So there's only a few of these around the world and the country. So we're gonna get the music again. I have to remember to do something about that. The boats all lined up, tied off. I guess I should also mention that it is a nonprofit, right? This is not a theme park uh, like Disney World or Busch Gardens. It's um, it's a nonprofit for community activities. And 
we're going to get into the music again. Folks putting in here at the ramp. It is warming up. The water makes it a little bit better um, in that it cools it off just a little bit, which is nice. But it is warm enough that I definitely wish I could get in that water. <laughs> This other island. I love this. What? I think we can confirm. So we're going to get a kind of a good view of the um, conveyor belt escalator. Also this division here. That looks like fun too. Look at those pumps. Apparently there's seven pumps and they usually have six at a time going, or they can. Again, here are the wires across the top that allow them to put gates on the uh, drop gates down for kayakers, and maybe canoers, um, for competition. So I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back on this trail and we're gonna go down to the flat water dock area, which goes down to the river. I wanna reiterate real quick that this is not um, like a typical theme park, right? It's an activity center. It's, uh, this is not a roller coaster, but it's, so it's, you're not belted in, there still is a limited amount of risk, but um, it's even better than all that, I would say. I was saying earlier about practicing my own whitewater skills, which are limited. And where we live, we can find whitewater, but it's either way in the back country um, with a it's a big commitment so if you do get in trouble um, it's it's a big deal um, or it's one or two rapids 
in in all day, right? So you spend the whole day floating, you get one or two big section, little sections of white water. So that's also commitment. Um, and so it, it's a challenge to get the experience without going into a, here we go, you can hear people on those zip lines, they sound like a train or a jet flying over. So cool. This is the flat water dock. There's also an adventure course back in here. And that looks like the exit to a mountain bike trail. So maybe it's got some uh, structures in there, jumps and ramps and platforms and stuff. I don't really know. This is nice. So I'm just going to be if I can, I'm going to try to be quiet for just a little bit. Enjoy the trees. River. Sorry, I think I called it the Pigsaw, Pisgah. Good, how are you? I was just wanting to see the river. Hey, just use your own mind to look all the way around here. Just don't go past any portion of the wooden part of the dock, okay? You bet. Thank you. Look at all those paddle boards. Kayaks, canoes. I don't see any canoes, but kayaks. It's a really well run organization, it seems like. Guess if you have so many people coming here, you get it figured out. Thank you. Yeah, you too. There. 
Good, how are you? All these guys putting in earlier. Really? Looks like they're going to scout out this rapid. Pretty cool. That you can do that. Okay, we've covered this bit, and uh, I've shown you what I can show you at 80 some odd degrees, getting up towards 90 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna sign off here, but I wanna thank you guys for joining us for this uh, city walk just outside of Charlotte, North Carolina at the US National Whitewater Center. Um, one of the things I didn't say, I'm trying to say at the beginning is better describing what this channel's all about, and it's Typically, it's virtual tours of cities. Um, we have a, I say, the library where city walks live, but we also do a lot of nature walks um, where I talk less, but a little bit. Um, I do talk on all my videos, so that's where we're going to just be aware of that. For this. Swoosh. So anyway, thanks for joining us, and we will see you again soon. I'm going to head up to hopefully Gatlinburg and Knoxville and film some walks up there. So I hope you'll join us for that. Um, I'll be doing more walks in Montana. So keep an eye out for that. And either way, keep on stepping. <laughs>